short adventure couple on our way out for another adventure in the Withapoochee State Forest. We're going to be doing an overnight backpacking trip. Just thought I'd share some of these dirt roads to get in here. Um, always fun to come in these back roads if people live out here. Just past a parcel of land for sale. wonder how many acres. Anyway, check in with you later on our way. Alrighty. We are loaded up, tracker started. And we are on our grand adventure. It's not for the camera, my love. Yay! Yeah. Over here. How's the weight feel? Uh, it's, it's heavy. <laughs> Definitely heavier than last weekend's weight. I actually got a load now on the purpose. It makes it feel better. Alright. Off we go. You gave me the sweat bag for Off we go into wild blue, I should say, the wild green yonder, huh? Yeah. Under full load, we're off. Fun times, baby. Yeah. Look at that beautiful shelf for uh, shelf room. Huge one. Oh my. It's such a beautiful area. Here's the interesting bent over trees again. You can see they recently just cut off these two branches. <laughs> All right, intersection red. This is the last time we went right. I guess when they had these slats missing i saw a video a recent one this was closed you had to walk that way that's why they've been mowing that over there i think that's us yep. lead the way my love this is where blue breaks off here's the compost toilet it's about five minutes from camp no cat holes on this one didn't even bring a trowel couldn't find it actually Oh, 
wasn't where it was supposed to be and I didn't want to dig through all my camping gear but this is where it gets beautiful down here anyway Ooh, look at this look at that big old oak tree gorgeous oak ancient majestic oak there For it later. Oh, we got kids back here this time. Well, we're at primitive site number seven with the Coochie River Park. We took the shortest route from the parking at the uh, church, and it's that bottom track, 1.3 miles. We booked it here 38 minutes, didn't take a break. All right, I thought I'd give you a quick little tour. We called the, uh, well, I guess I didn't tape it. We showed up, we pulled in at the office, and he was out. And so we had to uh, make a phone call. And so then we hiked to camp. And I parked where I thought I should park, where I've seen other people park for backpack. But apparently, we're going to have to go back and move our cars. No biggie. It's not too far. Um, but here's site eight. It's not on the uh, reservation on lines to rent. So I think it's this walk-in only. It's the last site they save. It's kind of the best site, actually. You can have nobody behind you. <sighs> Got a nice little pine tree stand behind it over here. A little prairie. So I'm going to ask the guy how you can rent eight, what the dealio is with eight O. Great tree for hammocks, several nice trees for hammocks all over eight. And this is some, some pretty good sized pines. Walking on feels like a half a foot thick of pine needles. A little natural sink right here. See what you hear? Nothing. Here, here's Florida Trail. Here's that loop. I knew it was over here. It's going to shortcut to it. See the orange blades straight ahead? So it's an orange blaze trail. And I've, what I understand, it's maintained by the Ford Trail Association. But it's not a part of the Florida Trail. It's on the other side of the river. Florida Trail's on the east side of the river. And we are on the west side. Oh, yeah, I see the orange blaze as far as I can see. Well marked trail. And orange is most, if they know. Backpackers and hikers know that's reserved for Florida Trail. So now I'm just going to trailblaze over our campsite. 
this way. Only a deadfall to burn. It's a nice piece of pine there. Pine does the best for mosquitoes, and we didn't bring any mosquito spray. So let's get some pine burning. There's a that one leaning against the tree. That's gonna have a lot of turpentine in it. And that's what we want to keep the uh, bugs off mosquitoes. Apparently the Native Americans in this area, especially on the coastal areas, like the pine and burn the pine most. That's what the archaeological record proves. That was the preferred fuel and they believe to keep, help keep mosquitoes down. Howdy folks, don't mind the mosquitoes, they don't bite. They just like to tease you and buzz your ears. Anyway, we're having tent set up, we're all good. We got it perfectly pitched, this, uh, it's a good tent. So I'm not gonna put the guy lines out, I don't think I need them. It's a, it's a solid dome design on its own. And, uh, talked to the ranger, we got checked in, we're all good. Don't have to move the car. He approved of my spot like I thought he would. Um, so we're good there. So we are free to explore. Just as soon as I finish putting the fly on, we haven't put our air mats or anything and the bed stuff in yet. I just threw some of my clothing, lighten our packs up because I think we're still gonna hike with the packs. And he alerted me to a fact that I didn't know. So anyway, I've already chalked the trail over here, trailblaze, and I found the trail. Confirmed 2.3 mile loop, takes us down around. They say there's a primitive campsite out there. That we can rent through swift mud and it's free of course maybe that's what ali chuck was talking about it hey he wasn't specific on the swift mud I, yes i've stayed in a lot of swift mud properties i know they're free i have an account with them and i've even went to the website for this one i didn't make it clear that it's out there but anyway maybe next time i told them but we're going to check it out this time be a little more prepared but campsite's pretty much done we got some firewood we're good need to throw something on it honey with this drizzle just keep it dry till we get back and we're gonna get it wet. Uh, look at that, that worm or tarp I brought, but now I got a bag. I'll put a bag over it, my bear bag. All right, well, we are checked in and we are good to go explore. Are we on our journey again? Hiking we will go. Hiking we will go. Hello and here we go. Hiking we will go. March into the forest. Marching through the forest, hoping we don't get lost and we run into Bigfoot today. Nah, so much it. You. Uh, okay. A little spotty on the rain, but that's what's keeping the temperature in check. It's hard to believe it's almost Thanksgiving. We are so unseasonably warm right now. In Florida. Beautiful trail. We are trailblazing right now. Same way I found the trail earlier, see? Found this little sinkhole there and then I went straight. Right here. Trailblazer. Head towards Swift Mud property. Actually, it's all Swift Mud property. This is the 2.3 mile loop attached to Whitlacoochee River Park. Here's the fence the ranger was talking about. Got the little prairie off to our left. And this is some type of plant. Look at this old tree, been here forever. Look at the fern on that thing. Gorgeous. Beautiful area. Draws me back.
We were signed a deer print. Yeah. Pretty fresh. I've been looking ever since we got out here. This unofficial trail marker, the white white stripe oak. That's something like the Indians would do. I mean look at that. Skunk oak. <laughs> Just beautiful out here. With all the fern. Industrial Florida over there. Chicken coops. I don't know if they're going to come up on the GoPro, but look like some nice ones. So we've followed the 2.3 mile loop. Looks like it goes that way towards the swamp. We're going to go this way and check the campsite out. It's got a, apparently a road that leads straight to it. Makes it follow the accessible group and the way the uh, Swift Mud people can check up on it. Yeah, it usually is on the Florida Trail. I didn't be a hand pitcher pump. All right. That was a short eight tenths of a mile. Let's take a pack off break real quick. Got a little cover here. Getting drizzling some. Whew. Well, we had our lunch at this undisclosed campsite and Swift Mug property. I already. There's a huge bug on that tree. See that black? Yeah, it's a type of beetle. Big um, beetle. <sighs> nice old campsite back in here. It's probably two, about two miles room where you can park so short trek a lot of open space catch some breeze beautiful majestic oak here and you know a little bit of you know not super primitive you got fire ring and a table everything else you can leave up to the imagination over here you got the double deluxe three-story uh with cots cottage over here and they have a, a expansive view to this direction. And then over here we'll put the tree house. Um, right up over somewhere over here on these large pines. And I'll do some rigging. And we'll, we'll do one of them tripods. Oh, anyway. Flies have a cool your desks to them, that's for sure. Thirsty? Mm, I'm thirsty. Mm. Yeah. Full of water. I don't think it's a good for curse. Huh? We're on the edge of the cypress swamp. <laughs> This is the swamp. The swamp. Nipkochi. Swamp. We are in search of the swamp ape. Gators out here. Swamp ape. Gators don't fray me. Swamp ape. That's what I'm afraid of. You don't play. Who said the swamp isn't beautiful? I think the swamp's very beautiful. Yeah, watch out for scorpions. They like to hang out. Look at that. Uh, spider web. Mm, up there. Way up there. 
that tree. Oh yeah, that's cool. He's connected to this little stump right here. Yeah. Little pause under there. I know, that's why I just started the camera. Ticks. I like to hang and stuff like that because it, it's that height that you get, you know, it's attached to critters. Beautiful out here though. A little bit with the selfie stick. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Almost as dead as a tree. Tree dies, so does the shrooms. Swamp ape, reveal yourself. What? Swamp ape, reveal yourself. I have peanut butter and jelly. We mean you no harm. We hear a hawk. This trail's amazing. this look at this walk right by it look at this hell down here in the wilderness some kind of farm implement Swamp ape, reveal yourself. Osprey feather. Definitely offspray with all these other bird feathers, but I recognize that all day. See the stripes on it, the white stripes. Ragged. I bet you I can clean it up with some water, make it look like new. That's at least 400 years old. Yep. Let's zoom in on the big old spine. Oh, <laughs> touched his web. Yeah, it didn't scare me. I just didn't want to mess it up. Oh, me, but... Yeah, didn't want to mess up his web. Oh. Now he's moving. He's not happy with me. That oak is gorgeous. Triple. It's the common triple. It was like perfectly growing. I mean, it was growing in symmetry. Lots of space around it to do what it wants. 
You can see the high water line on those cypress if you look. Coyotes. Oh, owls. Owls are already hooting. Big duck or something. Huh. I hear an airplane. Whether or not you won't hear anything out here. Except for the wind. My wife. And skunk ape. Found our first swamp alligators. It's not, it's not skunk cape. Little guys. They're sunning. That's what we call the swamp, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. You notice the ladies don't want to get in their swamp. Oh yeah. What you gonna use it for? Camp's all set up. Fires are going. And we have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. But everything's up. Had a little brief moment in the hammocks earlier. Our neighbors are in camp. It's two gentlemen and their their kids, so as lovely as that is, we hope it's not loud tonight. But, uh, yep, enjoying the future comforts of luxury in the woods. Where you have all what you have is what you brought on your feet. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking of that. Yeah. Uh, my old moccasins, baby scouting. They're so comfortable and they allow you to transmit that pressure. Oh. Work those heels and work those arches. Mm. Oh, Irish high. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yep, that's all I hear is birds. And my wife making noise. Eating blueberries. She likes her blueberries. Peace out. Fire. Oh, let them film? No, they got room to film. Nice job, baby. Got it cooking. Good looking. Cooking the fire over here. Pad Thai tonight, baby. Yeah, our favorite one. Favorite mountain house. Let's see what that stuff looks like before you even dig into it. She threw in the peanut butter. Yeah, Since that goes in already anyway. That goes in when you put the boiling water, so that's, that's what she looks like going in. Let's see what she looks like coming out. Also, another great gear item I picked up, I think it's Bass Pro. Alpine Pro is another brand company or fair, Alpine Fair. And they got this this number here so i'm gonna go ahead and load it in there <laughs> actually the bottle the fuel bottle or stove that's in there perfect so let's go in here because as you know when you pour the water in it gets hot um and you can even put your hands in there if you want to to warm them up <laughs> nice you know what i mean so if it's freezing cold and you're trying to eh, hold the meal to not burn your hands but kind of burn your hands They've got it covered there too. So we bought one of these and we have used it every time now. It is great. It will actually help the food cook, keep the heat in there in the time that they say. Because sometimes you're out here freezing cold and you get this to the roll and boil as suggested. And you put it in here and this keeps it warmer longer and it will make the meal. And you don't have any little crunchy noodles down the bottom that didn't get boiled out. Um, so, yeah. 
little trick there I've learned. And that's a good little addition to our camping thing. We need to get another one. So that's it for now. And I'm not sponsored by any of these people. This is just tricks over time. In the kitchen, I'm off the work. Time to go get some more firewood. That's right. Got a rolling knife. Left something over here, including trash. There's really anything. Uh, a little piece of pine left. Let's get rid of this little pine stand back here. Deer track. Ooh, there's one. Not too far. Let's see how it reaches. That's what I say sometimes. Alright. It's a dead one, so I want some good hard log for tonight. Alright. Already right, got two nice little stumps here. I call them Bud Light bottles. I want the top of this over here as well. Broke right there. <sighs> That's good enough for night. We'll strap her all up, carry her back. We'll strap a handle, whatever you want to call it. I love it. We're out of here. Single-handedly, out of here. Oh, gotta close my Corona. It's gonna be deadly. <laughs> Thought I went the same net way, but <sighs> spider in the face. Oh, ah, spider web in the face. I don't think I got the spider. <coughs> I'm gonna saw him first. Where am I? It looks like a straight shot before. But, hmm. Take those chances when you go off the beat and bad. Uh, not gonna say it ain't heavy, but it's handy. Had live termites in one of them. The one I cut down. your pad thai? Delicious. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm probably wearing it on my face. <laughs> I'm getting ready to dig in. Uh, mm. Alright, was the pad thai any good? Yeah. 
but I would say it's good. It's good, 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 good stuff. And uh, not too bad for you either. Put it this way. <laughs> That's how you clean her out. It stays warm, that Alpine heat bag, the whole time, too. Keeps it nice and warm for you. And then don't pack it out, burn it out. Because those things burn right down. The trick to cleaning and eating in those things is this magic spoon by GSI. It's got a Teflon coating on it or silicone. So it's like a spatula, spoon, and deep diver all at the same time. Or GSI, I think it is. What? Uh, I can't read the name. Um, but bought one and I've had to buy two because the wife loved them so much. So. We each have one now. A little beaner on it. We won't lose track of who's is who's. No, I need a pink one. A pink beaner. Yeah, we'll find you one. Just sitting here, fireside. Sun's going down. I've got my redneck recliner. Got my massager. Sucking my back. Sorry for the visual. Good morning, Florida Adventure Couple. We just left camp behind us, uh, heading out for a morning hike before we have to come back and pack up camp. We ate a little light breakfast, and we're gonna come back and make our big breakfast when we get back. Yeah. Our granola, so off we go into the, hoping to catch some animals out early this morning. Gonna head down to the, the river, and do the river trail. This is our view of camp from the Florida Trail Loop out here. Lots of bird activity this morning. We heard the woodpeckers, crows, a couple calls I don't even recognize. We reached a portion of trail. We have already explored all of that. All of that is complete. The 2.33 mile loop, the campground. Got the fitted footage from that yesterday. Beautiful campground. Now we're gonna go to the canoe launch. This is where the sign is a little confusing. It maybe it got twisted. Because canoe launch is pointing that way. That way. And we're actually going that way. So maybe this thing got twisted. Something, but We've been here a long time, and uh, it's a good project. Update some of the signs. Here we go. We got the spider web stick. Lots of spider webs. You can see the leaf hanging right there. I don't think a lot of people go down this trail so far. Probably from the canoe launch, but maybe not all this way down south. Always nice and covering uncharted. Look at that oak covering uncharted territory. On my map, at least. Boy Scouts chopping wood. That's come from Boy Scout Bigfoot Camp. By the way, there's camps in there this weekend. So I didn't want to sit at that river where we saw the alligators and hang out yesterday. Didn't want to be their view. I saw them inside this greenhouse. They had it all opened up and had a big fleur de lis up in the door that you normally don't see. And it was one of their troop things. Anyway, this is an awesome looking place. Oh, little briar patches. You gotta watch these little suckers. They have thorns. And they will reach out and grab you some self shrooms. Using stealth, trying to find wildlife. Nice little plus of her Gregory Amber pack. Came with this internal day pack. This is the best part. Yeah, it's comfortable. You need a little strap so you can slide a little hydration bottle in there to hold the strap. We'll hold it up there where you need it. On either side. Yeah. Lots of bird activity. Look at that oak. 
see how it came out of the ground like four little pieces five four I don't know it's big it's branches all the way over here over us this is one of its branches that broke off a long time ago Green striped tree. Remember, we found the white striped tree. Here's the green striped tree. Lots of bird activity getting out here by the river. Look at this big pine. It's dead, but it was a big one. By lightning with the bark, but the beetles are definitely eating it. The termites and everything else. It was a mighty oak or mighty pine. A lot of its limbs just piled up all around it. Yep. Yeah. That's why I almost thought lightning for a second, but you can see all the beetle marks, yeah. all the holes, and all the dust from them eating it. An invasive beetle. brought from China I think with wood board and wood they brought in that spread all over America maybe from South America I don't know but that's why they control this import so much and that's why Florida campgrounds won't let you bring they want you to buy the wood local they don't want you to bring wood from other states and stuff because you could be inadvertently spreading this invasive species which is how it spread all over the US real fast <clears throat> just we weren't knowledgeable enough. That tree died a long time ago, but man, it's whitened out, bleached out. Old oak. Oh, look up in the tree, baby, right here. I don't know if it's a buzzard or a, a vulture or a hawk. It looks like a vulture. See him up there? Another big oak. And that one's alive and healthy. It's above the this big oak, I mean big pine. It's growing up above the big oak here. And they're all working in harmony. Lots of bird activity over there. Another arched oak. Oh, yeah. It's like three, like claw into this one. Lots to see, lots for your eyes to take in. We got palm scrub to our left, and then river to our right, which is where all the birds and activities at. All the cypress and oak. Stand. from the river and it becomes this pine forest with an occasional oak like being in Ocala look at all the pines all around us sprouting up from all the pine cones that have landed on the ground for years it's pretty cool quickly as it changes from 
pine forest. We're over here in the oak forest. So far been a very pleasant hike. This is a very nice trail. We say I always save the best stuff for last really. Just haven't decided if we're gonna use one of the park trails to go back. Maybe swing by one of the pavilions, grab some more water at one of the water fountains. Um, Probably the plan. Look at this, this is beautiful straight ahead. And you get on these little hills and inclines, it gives you a view. We'll put it back in time warp, it saves a lot of video memory. Beautiful spot. There's a bird right there in the tree straight ahead, baby. Just jumping around in the brush. Yeah, it's a scary the bird that flew over. I hear something bigger now. Look at this mighty oak. One of the restrooms. For with the Gucci River Park, the limbs are all the way on the ground. Sorry for the quick spin. I don't want to get the reverse of my lap coming out. Explain to Sarah that's the high water mark. Go stand over there by that on these trees. Like, I don't know how long ago the last flood with the uh, you know, that was a sustained flood. This entire sink to my right was filled in. It was a pond. I mean, this could be 100, 100 years ago, but trees are, that tree's maybe 400 years old. These oaks can be old. I mean, the pines aren't going to show them. They grow up fast, 50, 60 years. But oaks take quite a while. Not sure if you can see those two gorgeous oaks from here. Look at the water line and that one in the middle. Let's see if I can get over there a little closer. There's a missing sign. Yeah, you can see the water line, it's pretty evident. Should be getting close to the canoe launch. A little misty. Misty morning rain kind of setting in. I don't think it's anything more than mist. Such a picturesque and uh, beautiful river. The rain's picking up a little, I think. I'm trying to get to somewhere where there might be shelter. We didn't bring any rain gear with us. It's supposed to be a quick hike. We've been gone a while. It's a long trail. It's just pretty absorptive. It's you want to take your time and soak it in. Rain's getting a little bit stronger. We have picked up the pace. We got to one of the best parts of the trail. We're like walking right along the river where we paddled a couple weeks ago. That's officially the Florida Trail trailhead. Nice sign, look at that, it's all carved out. Please sign in here. Yeah. I was gonna say nice trail. I keep it up nice. Saw a lot of hog prints at the last bit. Flying by. Climb back.
We did our morning hike. We're stoking the last bit of our embers. Make sure we clean this pit out before we leave. It'll be much deeper than we got here. I've been working on the coals that were in there since we got here. I think we're going to be taking this porcelain and animal steel cooking thing that was in someone left here on the grill because eh, someone else is going to take it anyway and we're going to put it to use. Um, I haven't packed anything down, talked to the rangers, he said no rush, so we're going to take our time getting out of here. So we let up this mile hike out, uh, making some pine needle tea. Got breakfast in the, in the oven, our backpack pantry oatmeal, uh, granola meal, and we've got this pine needle tea brewing. Literally fell out of our fresh pine beside our uh, tent. Picked it up on the ground last night. It had fallen out from the wind. Way from up in the canopy. So some really nice pine needle. Let's see how it looks. Maybe too hot to touch. Yeah. And changing color. Got that green hue of the water now. Sucking it out of the leaves. From that to this. Steamed again. Smells wonderful. I think old tea has caffeine in it, and the Indians used it a lot, so. Well, that ends another wrap of another amazing adventure. Backpack camping, primitive style. Took into the camp, into the forest, all of what we had on our backs, and brought out all of our stuff. Left nothing behind, and even brought some stuff out that people left behind. Like a uh, nice, brand new, uh, Porcelain enabled steel cast, uh, cast, uh, formal, porcelain enabled steel, uh, Great. griddle. And, uh, we're gonna take it and put it in our other secret camp. Yeah. It's gonna be repurposed. I can fry some fish on it. It's perfect. Yeah, it was an amazing adventure. Now for the ride home, drive to the country here on River Road. Got the massaging seats going on. I'm still in the cool mode, but I'm gonna switch to heat in here in a minute. And, uh, just taking it all in the way home to stop me some me. But it was an amazing adventure. We had a great time. I guess. Yeah. She don't talk about it before. She needs to talk to me. Here to see me. Here to see her. She had a great us. time. It was another great adventure. Another grand adventure. Yes. Alright. My neck hurts. I'm sorry. Check in for now. Yeah, our neck hurts. She hurt it later night. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes you backpack and get pains places you didn't expect, so uh, the next train could be one. So. Anyway, we'll see you next time.